Oh my goodness me guys, today is easily the best day ever to be a massive Pokemon fan. I'm already downloading the brand new Pokemon game on my Nintendo Switch as we speak, but I want to know, did you guys at home pick Scarlet or Violet? But honestly, new generation and crazy new games to the side, we have a brand new Pokemon card set that came out today in Australia known as Silver Tempest. Now everybody wants this set so bad for one in particular card. I don't know if you guys have seen this one yet, but the alternate art Lugia everyone is hunting for. I swear nothing smells as good as a brand new Pokemon card set. And look at this, guys. A Lugia pack to start things off. So many people... Oh my... Is that already... Is that already open? Oh man, maybe the maybe the glue wasn't uh, on there properly? Oh, if we get something on the first one. Look at these codes. They're like barely printed on. Anyway, a lot of people thought this set would resemble Soul Silver for some reason. I think the Lugia on the front really resembles that Soul Silver box right here. I don't know, a lot of people are thinking Generation 2 was gonna play heavily in this thing. But no, it's literally a brand new set. Um, I think it's one of the last, if not the last, Sword and Shield set, if you count the holiday set that's coming out after this one. Um, but the, it's the last official mainline set. Spinder, got the Esper, and Delphox. So it's kind of a big deal. I think you'd want to collect the last mainline set. Or maybe you're saving your money for the big holiday set in January. But for now, we're going to go hunting for a couple of epic cards inside of here. I also wouldn't mind any of the Reggie Lecky, Reggie Drago cards. But I think another one that I am dying to get. Have you seen the unknown alt art? This one right here. I think it's unknown V, not V Max. It looks ridiculous. That is another one I would probably pass out, jump into the Pikachu at the back, try not to like crush the card in my hand and still grade and get a PSA 10. That would be so sick. Fennekin, here we go. Got a Durant. The first hit. My second ever Silver Tempest booster gives us a Lugia on the... Nope, the second pack. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a good start. This is hopefully a sign of what's to come. I'm hoping we got a good box in the first one. Sometimes we get amazing pulls in our very first booster box, and sometimes they're a bit 50-50. But a regular Lukia V to kick things off? It's nothing to sneeze at. Now, if you guys are obsessed just as much as me with finding that really, really rare Lukia card, I'm proposing. I go buy a booster case, and we do a huge opening. And if we still don't have it after that... If we still didn't have the Lugia card after six booster boxes, we start going to trade days. And we do Silver Tempest, trading for like different sort of cards and work our way up. So Ando can trade for the almighty alternate art Lugia. Because I don't know, after not finding the Pikachu yet, the gold Pikachu, Gardevoir's... Oh, guys, you'd be freaking out. Gardevoir's in this set. But after not finding that golden Chonky Chew, I need to like trade for it. I think I'm done with trying to pull it because sometimes my luck isn't there. How have I not pulled the golden chonky chew? I'm not kidding. I met a fan in the shopping center like two days ago and he like was eating KFC and in his hand he was holding the gold Pikachu. He's like, Endo, look what I just pulled. I just bought a random booster from Target. And I was like, you're joking. Uncle Endo goes and buys a booster case and this random fan just like, he was getting KFC, bought a random pack and got the golden Pikachu. So sometimes I don't think my luck is on my side. Smeagol's in the set as well. We got Petlil. Got the Pharaoh Seed. Hey, no way! That is gorgeous. So the character rares or trainer galleries are actually back in the set as well. We got a Jinx one. Gosh, the artwork on these TG cards are ridiculous. Dare I say it? This is gonna, I don't know. It's gonna be controversial. Sometimes the trainer galleries are actually leagues ahead of the main set. So... I do know people that do this. I wouldn't be mad if you were actually just collecting the trainer gallery set. It would be tough because, ironically, you just end up pulling a lot of the main set anyway. But the artwork's good enough where if you just wanted to collect that, fair enough. It's smaller. The art's just as good, if not better. And there's actually a really rare trainer gallery. Oh, Dragonite! Dragonite's always such a cool Pokemon to put in a Pokemon card. There's a really rare uh, trainer gallery card. It's Rayquaza VMAX. This one right here. That's another huge hit I am dying to get. Apparently it's up there as like the fourth highest paid card in the set. Like people really, really will pay like stupid amounts of money for that one as well. So wouldn't be a... Oh my gosh, this one was a roller coaster to open. Wouldn't be opposed to pulling that one as well. Requires has always just been a big fan favorite too. And he's always epic. Okay, got the metal type. Stone Journer, Pharaoh Seed, Dratini, got the Clink, Stunfisk, Togedemaru, Esper... Look at him, he's doing a dance right next to Air's Rock right there. And we got Verizion regular rare, looking so epic. I'm also, this is why today just gets even better. 
I locked in. I'm going on holiday to Hawaii in January. So if you live in Hawaii, um, I'll actually put a link to the convention in the description if you want to get some tickets, but I'm going to Hawaii PopCon uh, in January 7th and January 8th. I'll be there signing, doing like meet and greets, but most importantly, um, Uncle Ender's gonna be buying heaps of Pokemon cards there and I'll do a vlog and everything. So I thought I'd give a shout out to all my Hawaiian fans. I've never been to Hawaii before, so if you guys live there, you wanna go to a Pokemon card convention or trading card convention, I'll leave a link in the description and come beat me and take a picture because I don't know how many Hawaii fans I have, so it'd be really cool to meet all six of you guys. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know, but I thought it was a really, really cool opportunity uh, for me to go on holiday there and might as well do a meet and greet as well. Oh, Ursa Luna? Amazing! That is sick! I love that this Pokemon, like, is really, really epic and got a V-card. Uh, they're really sharing the love around. But I suppose, being like, you know, the last Sword and Shield, they've got to really make work. Every Pokemon they forgot to give a V-card, now's the time to give them one. How big is the set? I've got a bad feeling it's huge, guys. Oh, 195 cards, plus all of the secret rares, so easily clocks into the 200 range. Man, what do you think? Do you reckon the first ever Scarlet and Violet set, do you reckon it's going to be a huge one? Or do you reckon they're going to dial it back a little bit? Because I know a lot of people just get scared of these big sets. They don't want to collect, you know, 200 cards. That's ridiculous. So they just don't collect it. So do you reckon Scarlet and Violet base set, they would just make it a smaller set to get people in. I wouldn't be opposed to that. Make it really fun to try and complete. I love these arts. This was in Japanese, but Pikachu, you got Toga Tomorrow, you got uh, D. Denny as well, Ponida, Venonat, all the mouse cameos in one. Bravery. Come on, I want to see a V Star. I want to see a gold card. I want to see something crazy. Swing it around. We've got the white border. There's the code card. Let's go forth in the back. Swing it around. We've got a lightning type. Out Syria, got the Lance, Fletchlinder, got the Drowsy, Growlithe, Mistrevis, Whalma. Go! Oh, no way! We got a Radiant card! This time it's Radiant Serena right there, and it looks fantastic. I gotta be honest, I didn't know Radiant cards were actually in this set, so this is really cool. And it's got the full, like, normal Radiant texture on there. What else has a Radiant card? I really need an ETB so bad. Okay. This is awesome though. You imagine a Radiant like Lugia or something, that would be awesome. But I reckon this one's guaranteed in every box. So we'll put this one at the back and then we got a regular rare as well. You always get that guaranteed Radiant card. Like they've, do they've done it every time they've done Radiant cards. It's always like one Pokemon, you get it in every box. That Radiant Gardevoir I pulled like 6,000 times, I think. Black Border, come on, let's go. If we haven't got any hits yet, what do you think the chances of us getting an alternate art? Come on, unknown. Alternate art, unknown, or Lugia. If we get that in the first box, I swear, I might have to retire off YouTube. Pharaoh Seed. Got the Raichu. Oh, Terrakion. I'll take it, dude. He's like sliding down the mountain. Holy card to the side. And we've nearly finished the left-hand side of our first booster box. Black Border again. Come on, big hit time. Ooh, got the V-Star marker. Haven't seen one. Oh my gosh, that's something. Was it textured? Wallace! Throwback Thursday right there to Wallace. Got the Brandon. I think Brandon comes as a fuller card in the set too. Here we go, Ruffler, Ball Picks. What do you reckon? Hypno Reverse and the very first one. Oh yeah! We got V-Star, Superior right here. But what's so sick about this? I know it's a V-Star, it's fantastic. But this right here is the other gold card in the set. You've got your Lugia, but you've also got Golden Superior. Okay, Superior V-Star, you go to the side. A little bit miscut right there, but that's all good. What do you think of V-Stars? You liking them? You kind of over them now? I still don't, I don't, I don't mind them. I think the reason I like V-Stars is because it could potentially lead to something even more rare, you know? The regular V-Star, you're like, meh. But when it gets to the gold V-Stars or like anything like that, it's fantastic. All right, come on, Glalie. We got Behem, Dratini, got the Clink, Stunfisk, Toga Tomorrow, Esper, Crocodile, and a regular rare Noivern. Only got about, yeah, this is like the fifth to last pack of this side. We still haven't pulled any full arts. I reckon we're guaranteed one crazy rare from the trainer gallery as well, and I'm praying it's that Rayquaza. Uh, but I'm sure there's like a bunch of other cool like artworks for us to try and track down. Someone did comment though that the trainer gallery cards are actually really difficult to pull. They're making them more like rare and rare than they once were. They once were like you were getting an abundance of them and you didn't really care, but now it does feel like they are getting rarer per, 
I guess, booster box or per set. Are you guys finding that? That, like, the trainer gallery is tougher and more difficult to try and complete? Got the Anorith, Meowstic, got the Emolga. Man, this is so exciting. I'm actually having the best day ever. Like, seriously, a new Pokemon game is ready for me to play after I'm done. Oh, no! Oh, I thought it was gold. I thought that was gold right there. But I reckon it's a double hit. You ready? We got Dredagon, and then we got... What is it? Oh, it's the Reggie Drago V card. I swear we had a gold card. I was gonna die. Okay, Dreadigon right there. Dragon Claw got the revenge. Beautiful character rare and a Reggie Drago V. Do you reckon we got all the Vs? You can barely tell that's Reggie Drago, by the way. We're nearly done with this half. We haven't pulled a textured card besides the V Star. Is the V Star actually gonna be the best thing on this side? Please don't let it be the best thing in the box. Don't give me an error box in the first Silver Tempest. This is gonna be the best day ever. Surely we can make it good. It's Pokemon Day. This happens like once a year, if that. Spinarak? No pressure at all, by the way. Frolas. Third to last pack. Surely. This is 18 boosters. Okay, crack you open, put you to the side, and there we go. Got that black border. That's what we like to see. Fourth in the back. Yep, 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 yep. That's definitely something. We got Darkness, Toxapex, got the Lance, Clang, Drowsy, got the Growlithe. Mistrevious, Wailma, here we go, we got the Murkrow, come on! Metagross, Hollow card. I get this feeling that Hollows might be more common in Silver Tempest. We'll have a look at what this side has, but so far, I reckon we've pulled more Hollows than normal. Put you to the side, even though it's a white border, hopefully a trainer ga- oh, hey, unlisted leaf, trainer gallery. Got a Crookerock, come on, be here, him. Got the Rotom. Bonary, Dreepy, Vampy, Nut, Beldum, and Miss Magius. I can hear Hazel just outside my door. I think when I shout, she like, she sits outside and then she's like, oh, I better check if Ando's died yet. Because one day he's going to have a heart attack during filming. She like knocks on the door. She'll pour it. Like, Ando, you, you still good in there? You died yet? <laughs> okay, this is the final pack of the left-hand side. I reckon the right-hand side actually might contain all the Bangarooskis. We've got to get at least one big hit from the trainer gallery and one big hit from the main set. That's genuinely how my booster boxes be looking. It's all down to the final lot of packs, but let's clean this up. Alrighty, I hope you're looking at these packs and thinking the best hits ever are going to be inside. I had a quick Google as well just then, as I was tidying the setup, like what cards uh, should I be hunting for? There is one card. I can't believe, why was that so hard to open? Yeah, I wonder if there's something inside of this one. But I was Googling like, you know, what's everyone looking for? We've missed a card, guys. There is one card that it's so fitting it's in the set. Ho-Ho Fuller card. Come on, how did I not know that? The rainbow texture, the Fuller goodness? That's just as good as the Lugia in my books. And it goes perfectly, like, imagine getting that and getting the Lugia card all in one booster box. It's like the almighty, if you're going to get a McDouble, you want that one. That's the ultimate double cheeseburger. Ooh, these packs are, like, harder to open than the left-hand side for some reason. Okay, got the black border, come on! And I reckon it's textured, but I said that last time and got it completely wrong. So maybe not. Okay, Clink, got the Whalmer, come on, Dratini, Feebas. Got the Pikachu, and it's another V-Star! It is all coming down to the final flipping last couple of boosters. There's the texture, got the Mawile, put you at the back. So there's our classic two V-Stars, that's guaranteed, so no more V-Stars. Um... I haven't seen Trainer Gallery in a bit, so maybe we'll get one of those soon as well. And yeah, just generally full light card of some kind. Randomly inserted gold cards. Son of Flora, that's gorgeous! Got the Ferro Seed, Smeargle, Esper, Dratini. Nah, Noibat, Amaldo. Give him a full light card. He's such a photogenic Pokemon, that one. I wonder if we can go back to back something like textured cards right now after a V Star. Or if it's just going to give us a uh, holo surplus, that's awesome. Got the Holuncha, got the Pet Leo, Pikachu, and yeah, I knew it. Archeops right there as the holo. I've seen a bunch of these cards in uh, in Japanese. Like I'm getting flashbacks. I forget about the cards over after I open the set in Japan, and then I, I open the English. And I was like, oh yeah, that was a card that we managed to get. Look at that. Look how that's like sealed with crazy glue. Pokemon went to the went to the shop and sealed that one up extra tight. Okay. Yeah, the printing quality is weird. I've noticed, like, as time went on, the wrappers itself get thinner and they're, like, 
not as high quality, but the glue seems to get crazier. Or maybe it's the same glue that doesn't work with the wrappers. Something's changed. Snow Run, especially if you go from like these packs back to maybe X and Y, then you go even further back, you start to see how thin the like layers of boosters have managed to get. Okay, open you up. What? Dude, I swear, there's got to be a crazy hit in here because we've just got mid. It's literally been pretty mid. So if you're still watching this, I really, really do appreciate you. Okay, Zubat, Elgium, Fungus, come on, Sandy Ghast. Hey, no way! I should have looked at the Radiant cards we could have got. Radiant Jirachi, what do you think? A little bit miscut right there. All good in the hood. That's fantastic. Okay, this is where Ando's luck turns around. This is where it gets crazier, guys, okay? This is the pile that's definitely... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Going to have the hit bonanza we've been thinking about. It's got the black border, so everything's pointing towards this one. V-Star marker. Hopefully means V-Star Bangaruski. Gold card. Lance. Got the Litlin. Rufflet. Fennekin. Durant. There is a trainer gallery. Hey, and this one's a classic. As if they haven't made it into English yet. Oh, I, I saw this ages and ages ago. Zero right there with Malamar, but I swear we've got every V card in Silver Tempest at the moment. This is bonkers. So Chestnut V card right there as well. Dude, I'm getting kind of nervous. What do you reckon, like 10 packs left or something? Okay, all right, no freak out yet, little Timmy. <laughs> we gotta try and negotiate. Oh, it's another white border, and I don't reckon they're gonna give us a... Tr Maybe they will. Trainer gallery after one. Unlisted Lee. Worker, Sunflora, Bonary, Drowsy, Spinarax, Rolts, Krogunk, Volpix. A Suian Lilligan. A Suian Arcanine. That's in the set too, which would be cool. We actually pulled a full art um, Hisuian Arcanine in our Japanese Silver Tempest opening, which was a really nice hit. But that was our best full art we managed to get. Lightning type? Come on. It's going to be the last... Oh, it's going to be the last couple of boosters, I know it. We should have opened the right-hand side first. Dratini. Got the Fampy. Krogunk. Oh, shout out to Zygarde. What is that, like 10% form? You guys remember that? It was like... That was a huge deal. I remember I made a video, like, when you could hack and get him into the DS game. And it was like, everyone was freaking out. Pretty sure that video, like, got to a million views because everyone wanted him in their DS game before, like... I guess it was actually sp supposed to be a thing. Rotom, got the Dreepy. That's a that's a nice artwork. Come on, we gotta we gotta give credit where credit's due, guys. That's a fantastic one. Volpix. Oh, what is it gonna be? Chimeco. Metagross. Holo. Oh my! Is anyone else just having a panic attack right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we've done thirty packs. Someone in the comments. All right, everyone. Have you opened Silver Tempest, and how did you go? Was your luck good? Was it complete and utter garbage like Uncle Ando's at the moment? I want to know. Have you pulled that Lugia? Or any kind of Lugia? We started off really strong getting that regular V, but have you got the textured forms? Maybe you pulled the... Oh, that was pretty cool. Double hit on the uh, Tail and Flame. Have you pulled that unknown alternate art? Anything crazy like that? Maybe a Reggie Drago alternate art with him looking sad in the forest? Oh no, we're getting so close. This is dangerous. Okay, Psychic type. We just need one hit. Just one crazy one. It's going to make the whole box. We did Radiant Jirachi is probably my favorite hit so far out of all of this. Indeedy. And then we got Mistrevis, Swablu, Swirlix, Fennekin, and Keldeo. This is the, uh, yeah, fifth to last one. There's four boosters remaining. I'm still confident though, like a lot can happen in four booster packs. Don't get me wrong. But it's just a worry. Because we're hoping for a lot in the four. Elgium, Fungus, Sandy Gas, Metatite. Ah, the Frosted Flakes mascot. He got a bit bored. Lugia. What do you think? Yep, it's Black Border. It's, oh my gosh. There is so much. Put some like high pressure music behind me right now. Like the most epic. You gotta feel tense. I want the audience at home sweating bullets. Hoping that these like four packs are actually gonna have something. I gotta have like good stuff to trade if I'm gonna go to a trade day soon. There's one on this weekend. I was gonna take some Silver Tempest cards. I'm not gonna have much to trade at this stage. Sunkern. Unless everyone like today is like, and I get a booster case. I open the booster case tomorrow and then we go to trade day. No way, it's something it's textured. Okay, everyone, come on, come on. Alternate art. This is it. This is this is the this is the hit of the box. Three, two, one. 
Oh my goodness. You know what? I'm not even mad. That thing looks like, oh my, it looks so trippy. Omnistar V Fuller card. But what is the background? It is sick. The artwork is fantastic. The colors are so unique. But we have three packs remaining. We haven't pulled a crazy trainer gallery. That's what I'm hoping for now. Is this going to be Omnistar's box? Is this going to be the peak of the, like, everything? The background on that card makes it for me. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not a big Kabutop stan, so I don't really care. Omnistar's awesome. All right, anyway, getting off track. Wolf in the back. It was a black border. Yep, that looks like it's got something as well, but I'm hoping it's, yeah, the second to last slot and not the last one. Does anyone start, like, rationing when they get towards the end of the boost box? Like, okay, don't give me something here if you can give me something here. Ralts, Crow Gunk, it's not funny. Stone Journer? I have every Fallout card known to mankind. I swear, I this is a, this is number what, 542? I think they doubled up, like they accidentally gave me more Vs than they were supposed to. Who's opened a booster box? Did you get 7,000 V cards? <laughs> I'm sorry, Malwile. Second last pack. I'm just getting a bit nervous. Reggie Drago. Okay, open that one up. Put you to the side. Oh no, this is the second to last pack. If we don't get anything on this one, it's all down to the last one. Unlisted Leaf, if there's never been a better fossil. I mean, never. <laughs> I saw the card, thought fossil. There's never been a better sign. Sandile, Fennekin, oh, sugar! I'll take it, I'll take it. I will take that 150,000%. It's Corvic Knight, alternate art, V card. Sorry, Kling Clang. Oh, that is fantastic. So it's full textured, right? But the artwork, he's carrying the taxi, guys. Okay, we've got one pack left as well, but I reckon it's going to be Corvig Knight Alternate Art that's taken the cake for me. Beautiful hit. Beautiful, beautiful. Really, really happy about that. And that's what I mean. It's harder to pull them, but trainer galleries might actually be worth, like, trying to complete that full set. Let's not look at the uh, code card. Let's open you up. There's the code, Merry Christmas, you guys can have it on the house. There's the V-Star marker, is that good or bad? I don't know. Actually, we're gonna go one more. Oh no, that's gonna be it! It's a holo card! Oh no! How anticlimactic is that? Earthy and sealed stone, what the heck? Okay, got the holo right there. And I stuffed the card trick. Sorry, Ralts, you're not even a trainer gallery. Without further ado though, let's have a bit of a recap of Silver Tempest on release day. Honestly guys, I feel like I'm just way too harsh when I'm opening those boxes. It was actually an alright box when I think about it. The amount of cards we end up getting, I mean granted, a lot of them are V cards and holo cards. I still think we did okay. And also, let's be honest, it's Pokemon Day. My luck's never going to be too bad on Pokemon Day. So, we've got a Jinx, we've got Dredagon as well, got the Malamar. Quite nice trainer galleries, there are a lot better ones as well. So, which makes me, you know, really keen to open up another box. We got Lukia, which I'm so excited about. Ursa Luna, which was sick. Reggie Drago, Chestnut, and Mawile. Then we've got a taste of what the gold card could be. Superior V-Star and Mawile V-Star as well. But look at this. Two Radiant hits. So, you get two V-Stars, two Radiants. Looks like that should be guaranteed per box. Uh, and then we got our two full art cards. What do you think? Do you like it? Do you not? You can be honest with me if you don't feel this box at all. Omnistar V full art. I do love the backgrounds. And then look at that. Corvic Knight V alternate art. I think this sets us up like we could open up a booster case and get some crazy stuff now. So if you're excited for that, please demolish the like button. I always really do appreciate it. And I'll get you a booster case opening ASAP because I really want to find the alternate art Lugia. That thing has got to be tracked down.